What's up, guys? It is Sam here, and today I wanted to talk about how Donald Trump is actually super uh, thoughtful, and that is why he's so good at uh, grabbing more attention. Uh, so I wanted to talk about that using some data to back it up. So with that being said, if this is your first time here, what's good? My name is Sam, and for those of you who are returning, it's good to freaking see you. Oh, let's just jump into it. So uh, Donald Trump uh, went to Afghanistan to spend the time over there with the, with the troops. Um, and when you look up the timing, uh, it, the oldest ones are probably around 11 hours, I think it was, or 12 hours ago that I saw it. It is currently almost 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So today would be Black Friday. And basically he just uh showed up there it seemed like it was a clearly some people knew but not not the media um and and how does that make him thoughtful well when you're running a company or something you want everybody to know that you're willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that it's successful if even if that means not doing something for yourself, like a traditional Thanksgiving, um, and, and doing what needs to be done to show that you're supporting the, the, the troops. So this not only helps with the campaign for 2020, but it also helps doing the right thing um, in terms of just showing the support for the troops over there. Um, now, whatever the politics are around associated with a, uh, the troops over there. I'm not getting into any of that fucking shit. Um, but just in terms of that specific move, um, <clears throat> and if you look over here, so this is on Google Trends. This is the YouTube search volume. Um, but we can uh, see right over here is when the first uh, story started coming out, right around 12 hours ago. And you see that there's a pop in attention right here on YouTube over the past 24 hours. That's when the news story started to break. And the same thing happened on Google uh, where there's a pop of attention right there. So you can see it pops up and then it drains down a little bit. But what's kind of interesting is that Trump in Afghanistan was also see a, a huge break um, in Google Trends, they call this a breakout. So they went from basically nothing to having a giant breakout and that captures more attention or, excuse me, spelled a little bit differently it looks like, or just take the N out. Trump Afghanistan also had another breakout. Um, Trump, Trump Afghanistan spelled a little bit differently without the H uh, in, in, in the beginning of it also had an uptick. Trump, uh, President Trump Afghanistan also had an uptick. Trump visits Afghanistan also had an uptick. These, these numbers are, are um, in a way, they're able to capture this attention. A lot of people in the comments in the videos say it would be cool to see positive or negative. And I think that um, uh, 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 tension is the collective, like, um, interest in something where that could be uh, most of the time it comes down to curiosity, uh, in my opinion, right? It's, 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 uh, negative or positive in the comments, but if somebody's searching for something because of they heard something that the media said, right? That's still curiosity and interest enough to Google somebody. Um, and that, bodes well for whatever the candidate's trying to do in terms of garner attention, especially when it's associated with something where it's a goodwill exercise, like going to Afghanistan, right? Trying to show that you're willing to do whatever it takes. That's why I said he's thoughtful about the way he approaches this. Because of things like this, you can use this both for the campaign for 2020, but also you because you're doing something that's a little bit abnormal from how other presidents have done things in the past, you're able to, if everybody's not, you know what I mean, they're going to be at home and not working and stuff like that, you can capture their attention by going to do things, uh, do things like this. And I just want to show one more quick data point. We've got Social Blade here. Social Blade tracks social profiles of um, candidates or of um, just anybody on social on different platforms. So we've got Twitter and we've got Donald Trump's um, Twitter up here. And you can see 
that yesterday, so today is the 29th, yesterday, which was Thanksgiving, he gained 45,000 followers, almost doubled what he'd been gaining for about the week. If you took a week ab weekly average before that, almost double that. And you see there's 67,095,000 and change. Uh, well, if we go to the live counter here and just wait for it to uh, go through and update its its uh, numbers here, we can see that those those numbers for the 28th were 95,000. It's already at 129,000, and you can see that it's actually increasing, right? So that's uh, 30, uh, 30, 30,000 plus five, 35,000 35, increase, right? And so this is just the beginning of the 29th. So there's gonna be a substantial uptick in the amount of attention that he's able to get. But this is, this is actually kind of interesting here that, that he go he's going up and then they're going by down follows. But um, on the net, relative to when the numbers were there for the 28th, there's been a, a big increase. I'd love to hear what you, your thoughts are down below in the comment section. If you use the hashtag Stolt, the name of the channel, hashtag Stolt in the comment. Then when I get into my YouTube analytics, what I can do is search for hashtag Stolt, and then we can talk about the awesome comments in, at the end of the video like we're about to do here. Um, we have this from Ann Cat. Sherma, what's good? He says, hey, thanks for the breakdown. I got a couple questions, requests for videos. Cool. Um, I said, thank you for the comment. Hope you had an awesome holiday, if that's your thing. Uh, create a video where you compare your rankings relative to the amount of money spent. Um, <clears throat> There's not a lot of transparency, on, at least that I know of, where the money is getting spent, um, unless you guys know where to find that data. I don't think that I can look into it for sure. I think that's an awesome idea. I think that's a really fucking awesome idea. If I can find that data, that would be super interesting to see kind of like an efficiency ratio of uh, where they're spending their money and the results that they are getting. Um, I'm actually, I quit my job, so I'm gonna be doing uh, stuff online full time and figuring out how to turn this into a living. But one of the things that I'm doing for myself is tracking the views across platforms to get the understanding of where I can get the most attention and the ROI, but also to track, I'm not selling you a product or service, so the attention is what I need. And then hopefully the residual of the attention will be enough to, to be able to live off of so that I can continue, uh, continue doing um, this. And uh, something along those lines would be super interesting to see how the efficiency of people's ad campaign would actually be over time. That would be a, that's a freaking awesome idea. A creative view where you could check the percentage of terms are positive or negative. Um, so this is actually what we were just talking about. Um, it, it, it's, I don't think it's negative or positive. I think you just have spikes of attention and some of it's sticky and some of it's not. Meaning that when you have these spikes of attention, some of that attention inevitably stays around and is a, a supporter or follower of, of some sort. Um, so these spikes of attention tend to have a long lasting effect. We saw the same thing with Gabbard. I and mean, I think I see the word Gabbard in your in your thing. So I have a feeling that the, the same exact thing is going to happen. Um, Gabbard saw a giant spike of attention with uh, stuff that happened with Hillary and that attention went up and then came down, but she's still at a new set point that's higher than what she was before. Um, so I, I don't know. And the Pete uh, Buddha judge has been gaining um, a bunch of attention, but at, at a much slower clip and uh, he's at a much higher ranking now. Uh, so I, th I have a feeling this is this is how I see it playing out most of the times is where people have a spike of attention, a certain portion of that attention stays around. Now, the portion that doesn't stay around, they actually are now more aware of what's going on so that next time something comes around, that that can be split up and even fragmented down further and further. So that's kind of how, how the game plays out as I see it, at least. This next comment is from SLT. Um, have you watched the GRE with Tulsi? Uh, the recent one, they literally predicted Pete's rise most recently due to his connection with um, Zuckerberg. Um, I actually have not. Um, I do these rankings, but I actually do not. 
pay attention to what any of the candidates say. So I have no idea. I did see um, uh, like pictures and stuff on, on um, Twitter that were coming up where I would see Joe Rogan. And J-R-E is Joe Rogan experience or something. So I saw something like that that would come up. And uh, I expected to see more of something happening. I'm, I, Joe Rogan has a lot of attention, so I'm curious to see the if he has enough attention to actually start impacting her numbers in a positive way. Because I, I, after she had that big spike with uh, with Clinton, she did start to come down. She's kind of at like a new set point, but it's it's still not enough attention for her to actually move the needle forward. So uh, it will it will be interesting to see how the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, actually impacts her campaign. I'm going to be releasing the uh, YouTube search volume rankings tomorrow, which is today, the 29th at some point. So probably after I get out of work. Um, so if you want to stay tuned for that, press that subscribe button and that little bell notification. Uh, the last one here real quick is from Jeremy Lessard. What's good, brother? I appreciate your comment and support. Really interesting. I was worried and when I heard donations were a factor after four minutes, I was okay with the way you handled the data. Appreciate your work. Good stuff. Yank gang. So guys, um, if you guys know anybody who is um, into a politics, who also has a YouTube channel or a podcast or is in traditional media, share this with them or just share my contact channel with them or something so that we can chat and I can give them some data around like what's actually happening in, in the collective of America's minds. Because I think that we should start at least having that conversation around it's 2019 and there might be a better way of handling things than how we have been handling them in the past. So if you agree, make sure you uh, press that subscribe button and share this video with somebody. Peace.